Hello everyone. Do you want to learn programming that too in a simple and fun way? So you are definitely at right place. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series you will learn Python from scratch. So don't worry if you are a beginner, you don't know even coding or programming, you will learn everything from here. So without wasting our time, let's start with the basic features of Python. Python is a general purpose language. It's a programming language. So I want to start with the very basics. What is a programming language? We know that computer only understands binary language. That means zero or one. And we as a human speaks other languages such English, French, or Hindi, or it could be any language. Computer doesn't understand that. So programming language is an intermediate language, or we can say that it is a standard language that converts human language into binary language it's it's a just a simple definition in terms of layman and Python is a general purpose programming language by general purpose programming language it means that you can use it anywhere it may be graphical user interface artificial intelligence machine learning or it may be software development anywhere First feature is it's an open source language it is easily available free of cost you can download it from anywhere it's a simple expressive language and one important feature it has large number of standard libraries it has multiple modules and that too are very useful very helpful there are two versions of python 2.7 3.7 but the latest version is 3.7.8 i recommend to download 3.7 Python is a powerful journal programming language. I have already told you it's a journal purpose language. We can use it anywhere. It was invented by Guido van Rossum and was released in 1991. It is an interpreted language. By interpreted, it means no compilation is required in Python. It's an object-oriented language, means it has classes as well as function, as well as objects. It is a high-level programming language. By high level language, it means those languages which are in human readable form. So next, why Python? Why not C, C++, PHP? First of all, it's an open source language. You can easily download it free of cost. Secondly, it can be used on different platforms, whether your operating system is Windows, Mac, Linux, anywhere you can use it. Python has a very simple syntax. Even a fifth grade children or you can say a fifth grade student can learn Python very easily. It runs on interpreter system. I have already told you it doesn't require compilation. It can be treated in a procedural way, an object oriented way or even in a functional way. So what Python can do? Well, it depends on your purpose where you want to use a Python. Um, in layman uh, words, I can say Python can be used anywhere, whether you want to use it as a graphical user interface, a machine learning, software development, artificial intelligence, anywhere you can use Python. Let's start with the installation of Python. Open a new window and type here Anaconda download and click the first link you get. Here is an individual edition Anaconda. Click here and scroll down you will get downloading links for windows mac linux now you can download according to your operating system once download cxe file you have to select all checkbox that comes during installation once you are done with installation go to windows section and type anaconda you will see anaconda prompt here just click this and you will it will take some time maybe one or two minutes and okay so here from anaconda navigator you have to select jupyter notebook launch it it will open up a jupyter notebook window for you from here you have to select python 3 and here you can type your code for just for testing purpose for checking whether it's working or not let's run some program and yes it's working great so now if you are using a uh, office laptop then you can use google collab here is a google collab link you can just type google collab and just click the first link you will get this here you can create new notebook you can save it with any name and just to show you it's working or not 
let's run a program here just simple one simple calculation and enter shift plus enter it will take some time uh, it takes more time as compared to Jupyter notebook so it's yet it's working absolutely if you are working in a corporate world then you will not going to use this Jupyter notebook you will use some other IDE we know that to use any programming language we need just three things code editor compiler and interpreter but IDE which is even called as integrated development environment is basically a software which has these three things in build plus there is a debugger so my favorite IDE is a PyCharm so we will download this PyCharm and click the first link you get and you will download this professional version instead of community version and it will start downloading after downloading you can install it and after installation just check here PyCharm and you will get the app okay thank you so much here we are done with installation so in next video we will start with obviously coding thank you so much stay tuned